All right, so hey everybody. Remember when I said that uh, I'll be doing a weekly pool? The uh, play card should be up there. It was just the update part one. But let, without a further ado, how about I step you inside of my comic book store, Comic Collections. These are the comic books that are new for this week. Uh, this video is obviously I recorded this on Thursday. So uh, as you should know, comic books come out newly every Wednesday. Top um, titles right there: you saw Batman, uh, Black Panther, Black Bolt, uh, Cyborg. Which if you see my hopping issue, you know that's my man. We also got uh, the Green Lan uh, I'm sorry, Guardians of the Galaxy and uh, uh, the Green Lanterns. Now, if you see, uh, well, matter of fact, Green Arrow. I was actually hoping that uh, Aquaman was coming out because he normally comes out like the first beginning week of uh, the month. Uh, but you see, Generations, a new storyline from Marvel. You got Bruce Banner, Hulk, and then you got Dominus Cho Hulk. That's right there. And, uh, you know, I haven't read it yet, but uh, I'm pretty sure it's going to be a really good comic book. Uh, as you see, Deathstroke. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys, uh, you know, these comic books. Now, if you go to your comic book store, this is how my comic book store has his uh, uh, rack set up. He has it set up in his own little section walk in there you got this big title that says new comics bam so most majority of comic book stores are going to have that where it says uh new comics and you'll have your own little section for it and then he has a section for uh the back is issues that uh come out i see nick fury right there uh, but I'll show you that in the next um, uh, Kev's pool. Uh, but as you can see, X-Men Gold, it was, actually there's a comic book that wasn't in my weekly pool that I had to make sure I picked up. Ninja Turtles down there. But uh, this comic book right here, uh, right here, right here, uh, New Gods. I, I had to make sure I had that one. Uh, continue on, you got Superman. You also got Star Wars. That Rogue One right there, that's also... Uh, line of the movie right there in the comic book form you had Darth Vader and Star Trek which uh, I have been reading the really good you got the Miles Morales Peter Park uh, Miles Morales Spider-Man and then you got the uh, Peter Parker and Deadpool and if you see two different covers for those comic books they got the same um, title it's because they're variant covers so you can have uh, the standard cover and then you can also have like a cooler cover now I'm about to show you guys what I uh my list right here now you got blood strike strike which is new for me this comes from the uh, uh image and then you got the power rangers and you got excellent award from valiant uh and then you know this is my dc pool i mainly have more dc than i would have uh those uh comic books i just showed you before and these are the comic books that i'm picking up today justice league justice league america and on over to Marvel, as you saw, uh, the Generations, you also got Star Wars Dark uh, Alpha, and, you know, then you got the uh, storyline that has to do with the uh, uh, Secret Empire, so you got the Avengers, has a tie-in, the Champions, who have a tie-in, Black Panther, who has a tie-in, but it's not, they haven't done it yet, you got... Um, you know these these cool comic books that I pick up. Marvel mainly has more comic uh, for my pool, which isn't on purpose. I uh, see um, the monster monsters unleashed here and uh, Black uh, Black Panther. Now Edge uh, Venom Edge uh, Universe, which is awesome. Uh, it, it's an amazing storyline. Oh, this right here is uh, Weapon X, which is a cool title. Uh, and as you saw, that was on the rack. Um, cable. Yeah, but mainly Marvel uh, has like a lot of comic books that come out weekly. And um, it's it's kind of depressing because it's like there's a lot of Marvel and there's only a few DC. And then for my pool, there's only a few, uh, you know, extra comic books that I uh, pick up. But yeah, that's my, my pool. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the uh, my pool now there's toys all around and i'm gonna i'm gonna try to get to all the toys again if i don't get it in this video i will definitely make sure i'll get it in the next upcoming videos that come about 
So right here are the toys that I was telling you about. You can go into the comic book store, uh, comic collection, and he has toys in there, statues that you can buy. Uh, these are the awesome ones. You can literally go in, uh, can go in there and buy them. Uh, <laughs> you can buy them anyway. These are the boards and the bags. So you put uh, you put your boards and your bags, and then you put your comics in in that, and obviously your comic books will be taken care of and be uh, well protected. Now this is something that he does uh, for his comic book store. They have gaming there. Uh, also, they get, he has uh, uh, auto records, which for a lot of young kids, if you're watching this, this is before CD players, okay, before MP3s and all that. Now, these toys, I want to apologize. When I was holding the camera, I thought if I held it sideways, you, I can get more, uh, more view of the toys uh, in the camera, and I did. But now that I'm looking at it, uh, <laughs> uh, while while the video is playing, I, I realized that if you're going to be watching this, you might have to hold your head to a tilt, and I apologize for that. But he has awesome com uh, comic book toy related and movie related toys in there. Uh, I definitely, and, and what's so amazing is every time I go into his comic book store, there's always new and new toys. So I don't even know why I'm surprised every time I walk in there. But when I walk in there, I'm always surprised of uh, all the toys that he has in there. The old retro Power Rangers, the new Power Rangers. <clears throat> um, but yeah, definitely, as you see, Chucky's up there. Uh, there was some um, Spawn uh, that he had up there. He also has toys for little kids. Uh, this is his store. I didn't explore it for this video, but the next video, I will definitely make sure I get all of it in there. Uh, like I said, he has toys for days in there. Like so, that's this is just the beginning of his toy rack and and whatnot. Amazing uh, comic collections out in uh, uh, Bustleton Pike out in Feasterville. So definitely check it out. 83 Bustleton Pike. Um, and here you got your uh, fungal pops that are at a reasonable price, I guess. Like he only charges like fourteen at fourteen dollars plus tax, like fourteen ninety nine plus tax. I don't know. You can probably pause it and and, and like really look at the prices there. Um, he has a good variety of them, and he constantly like these are more fungal pops that I've just seen today. I normally doesn't have this many fungal pops, but as I said, every time I walk in here, <laughs> Batman, he looks upset. I also got the new Spider-Man that just came out, yeah, C-14.99. Uh, so yeah, every time I walk into his comic book store, there's always new toys in there. Uh, so these fungal pops been here for a good minute. You got the Pink Ranger, the Red Ranger, you got She-Hulk, uh, you know, you got Space Ghost, and he has, there's more, you know, like Robin, there's more other than uh, just you know your average day uh, superhero he also has some of the uh, new fungal pops that came out but uh, and these are toys obviously collecting a collection that you can go in there and buy now they're a little pricey but I mean for a good cause now over here are the storage boxes that I've, I've mentioned in my um, oh, you know welcome comic friends where you you buy your comic books and then you store it inside this is the Captain America this box is a little bit more smaller compared to the boxes next to it which is generation which is a slightly more longer but as I said you put the comic books in those and in, in that that bag uh, that clear bag with the box uh, with the board in it and then you put them right in here and they're taken care of they're protected uh, you know it's it's car it's cardboard but hey and what would a comic book store be without graphic novels the trade backs and these are all trade backs I'll explore this a little bit more they're all in alphabetical order I can tell you that and it stretches from that end to like right here as you saw and then more toys uh, up there on top like I said he has toys around the store he is a collector of, of you know anything that has to do with uh, comic books and movies anything that's related and he also does his own little review on uh, certain things uh, there's more to the store that I have to explore with you guys. I mean, I've seen it obviously. <laughs> like, obviously, you see Spider Man up there and <laughs> just chilling. Um, but yeah. All right, you guys. So, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, so, yeah, I had a, a great big uh, haul. Uh, this big bag. Now, normally, as I said before, I am a bus operator. 
uh, and so during the summertime work is slow uh, but during during the school season work picks up the money picks up but I will most likely be out here every week uh, just to show you my haul and show you what's also on the rack now if you guys enjoyed what you uh, enjoyed what you saw you can definitely come up here especially if in the Philadelphia area it's on uh, 83 Bustleton Pike uh, in Feasterville PA but it's it's on Bustleton Pike just type in 83 Bustleton Pike if you live in the Philadelphia area and you won't be that you really won't be that far outside of Philadelphia especially if you're up in this area and you're watching this uh, you know YouTube channel uh, so yeah there's a lot of great comic books that come out and I will be uh, also doing my issue of hop in so look out for that later on this week as always I've been Kev you've been you let's stay in tune all right <laughs>